Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and one lucky user at my nine to five job is getting the latest XPS 13 9380, which was released at this year's CES. I believe I did an overview on this particular machine, but I actually have it with me. I'm gonna touch it, I'm gonna deploy our operating system on it. So let's stop talking, open this guy up, and see what's inside. Awesome. So let's uh All right, so what comes inside the box? We have our power adapter, which is all wrapped up. So let's do this. Ah, this guy is a 45 watt uh, power adapter. So that's pretty cool. We have our power cable. I'm gonna hook up our power cable to there. Boom, and it actually has a type C connection. I'm gonna put that to the side. And on this model, it comes with a 3.1 USB to a type C adapter kind of dongle. It would have been cool if they had provided a kind of Ethernet or RJ45 dongle because that will make life easy when I need to deploy an operating system using MDT. So let's take the lid out. Ooh, nice. So it looks like my IT manager got the silver one, not the black one. I was really expecting the black one. Inside the box you have an XPS 13, uh, I'm assuming like a manual startup guide. And you have your warranty and safety guide right here. Cool. Let's put that to the side. Awesome. And we have the beautiful XPS 13 9380. And let's take this plastic out. Now, the XPS 13 is a standard laptop for my 9 to 5 job, and the reason why is because they're great. One of the things that our consultants at my 9 to 5 job did not like was the location of the webcam. With the 9380, the webcam was relocated uh, at the top of the display. So, if you have the laptop to the point that you are able to open it up, let me see if I can open it up like this way. Uh, there's a lot of ports. On the right hand side we have one 3.1 type C connection which gives you power over delivery or a display port and also you have your micro SD card slot which is pretty cool and your volume control and also right here is your speaker. On the other side we have two Thunderbolt 3 power over delivery ports and I'm assuming the, web, the one at the top is the one that you plug in your power. Uh, adapter I think you can also plug it into the other one as well LED indicator that tells you like the power so if I press it it should light up I got only three bars and another speaker right there on the back side there's no ports at all which is okay um, I am going to open up the lid power it on um, I'm not going to configure it with the Windows 10 operating system that it comes with uh, because I'm going to kind of configure the bio setting and once I configure the BIOS setting, I'm going to pixie boot and push out our operating system. All right, so let's open up this guy up and power it on. Oof, awesome. Look at that display. Power button is at the top. Let's power this guy on and press the button a little harder. Hopefully it powers on, right? That'd be crazy if it does not power on. And I am going to press F2 as a madman. I know there's power. There should be juice on this. Press it again. All right. Okay, now it's powering on. It is backlit. I do see the keyboard lighting up. I am pressing F2 like a madman because, like I said, I need to get into BIOS to configure it. Uh, let's look at the system information. This particular machine has 8 gigs of memory. It is running the Intel Core i5-8265U processor with a clock speed of 1.60, which is pretty good. Uh, I need to configure this guy to boot 
uh, using Unify, the UEFI. And to do that, I need to go inside, I think, system configuration. And I always forget where I need to go. Secure boot. Is it within secure boot? I always forget where I need to go. Secure boot. Is it there? Nope, 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 nope. I'm trying to remember where to go configure it. Um, where are you? Enabled. Okay, so I need to configure this. Mouse is a little wonky. Enable Thunderbolt boot support. And there's another one that I need. Where are you? Do, do, do. No. Oh, here it goes. Enable unified network stacks. And then I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to press OK. Uh, I need to get my Type C to Ethernet adapter. Plug that in. Hook up the cable. Plug it into our network. Press F12 so I could pixie boot and kind of push the operating system on this machine, our custom operating system using our MDT server at my 9 to 5 job. Now, like I said before, one of the cool things about the latest XPS 13 is the location of the webcam. Uh, Dell got smart. They listened to us complaining and bitching a lot about the location of the webcam. I believe the webcam used to be located on the lower left hand side or in the middle. A lot of my 9 to 5 users, my consultants, especially when they were using Zoom, GoToMeeting, Skype, or Google Hangouts, they did not like the location of the webcam because it captures their necks rather than their face. And then they have to position or move the camera to the point that it's looking you know, towards them. Uh, the fact that they are able to still keep the display or the bezel of the display still skinny and put that, that beautiful 720p HD camera right in the top was awesome. They still have the carbon fiber material around the keyboard, which is awesome. Super excited to get this guy in the lab, especially for my 9 to 5 job because I would love to plug it in and see how it works when I uh, kind of push out the operating system.